Welcome everybody to Island Grove Studios first live stream. If you don't know what we're doing, we are making a short film in Blender. If you want to know the backstory about the film, what we're making, go check out my channel and there's a video on there detailing the story a little bit, the character, and what we're kind of the overall goal for the channel. So what we're going to be doing today for a mini golf movie, what we need is a mini golf club. So what we're doing today is modeling a mini golf club. Here we go. First things first, when we're modeling anything, we bring in our reference image. Reference is key to anything we do. I'm just gonna drag, drag my image right here. As you can see, it's kind of all messed up. Zero for all the rotations and translations. Cool. We have all of these base primitives to work off of. And the one that we want to work off of for the golf club is obviously a cylinder. Scale it on the Z axis so it's a bit taller. Rotate it 90 degrees, and then I'm gonna scale, but shift Z, or shift, what is it, Y? So it doesn't change the overall length. So now I wanna take all of these vertices, bring them down here, and we're basically just tracing it. Extrude, scale a bit, extrude some more. It's a little off center this all the way to the top. Now we're gonna take this face and scale it up a bit so it's more tapered. Maybe add a loop in the middle. See where this is? Cause it's kind of a curved. It's not exactly like straight. So I'm gonna take a couple of these, scale them down, scooch this down a bit. Scooch you down. Whoop. Double tapping G slides it. 1G moves, grab, double G slides. So I'm just kind of spacing these out a bit better. Double tap G. Okay. Okay, cool. So uh, there's these little, if you see the in a mini golf, I, I don't think they have them in like professional golf clubs, but these mini golf ones have these rib, like these slight indents that give the, when it catches the light, it, the light goes in them a bit. We'll, we'll do that at the end. Um, when we're kind of doing uh, the shading because you can see it a lot better when it's chrome material. All right, so I'm gonna bevel out these a little bit. I don't know why it's like beveling on one side. That's weird, kind of do it manually. I don't know why it's not working. I'll have to check that later. But now I can just scale it up a bit and fake it. Just do it manually. So now we have some loops there. I'm gonna add another one here. So when we shade smooth and then add a solidifier or subsurf, no, subdivision. Then we get a nice smooth, smooth handle there. I'm gonna bring this one up a bit more. Now I'll go to the top and do this one. Let's see if this will work. Shrink this one down, kind of like that. Maybe if I do the scale and the rotation, maybe that's why. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's why the rotation was off. Durr. Okay, there we go. Now it's more smooth. Sweet. This one down a bit. So it's kind of a cap. Nice. I think that's pretty much it for this shaft of the golf club. We'll move it over. And then I'll bring in the other reference image. So this is the kind of style of club head that I want to do for the movie because it's kind of rounded. Okay, and for this, I'm going to make a curve that goes around this edge and then extrude that out. All right, so I'm gonna drop a curve right, start here. And I'll make a curve, Bezier curve. Take this one, drop it there. This one, drop it here. So divide this and make another curve here. This is basically just like your typical illustrator workflow with your pen tool, same thing. If I take this and I convert this from a curve to a mesh. Now it is a bunch of vertices. It's pretty dense. 
I'll go back to this for a second. Maybe if I do resolution down. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, this is what we want. Boom. Yeah, this is what we want. Okay. Now if I convert it to a mesh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. This is what we want. Now what I can do is fill in this hole without all of the geometry from before. So I think, do I want one here too? I think I want one here. Now, if I select it all and extrude it, okay. So now, if I turn back on my reference image, create a subdivision surface, maybe not Google Ghost Mode, and now it's kind of like a golf club head. Okay, it's a little bit. The shape is not stick into it as much like it was. So what I can do is if I turn on this with that on, you can see already the shape's coming back. Just gonna pinch and pull these ones until we get the shape that we originally were after. Let's just slap that on the, sh the other one that we made and see how it looks. And what the, the golf club kind of, there's like a little lip here. So it's kind of indented this way. Where's my annotation tool? It kind of goes like in like that right here. So we have this edge, but then this part is kind of more indented. I'm gonna separate it for a second and see if I can, sometimes it's easier for my brain to work it out that way. Okay, I'm gonna separate selection. So now if I scale on the Y, now we got this, this is good. Now if we connect these, add another edge loop here, cool. Okay, moment of truth. Now with that edge loop there, we should be able to see a crease when we do a subdivision surface. There we go. That's still, it's a little wonky, but it's the right idea. This crease here is what we want. This, I kind of want this to be, this is needs to be more curvature. Let me just go ham and go into sculpt mode. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, I want this, yeah, there we go. I want it to be curved up. So this line continues up like this. It's a good start, I think. Let's go into render view and see how it looks with some actual lighting. Oh, it looks great, cool, great. There we go. Nice. So we're getting that lip just like I wanted pretty nicely. Let's give it a material real quick. Something like blue. Pretty cool. It's kind of a rubbery, so that give it some sheen. I want the blue, sign that. And then I want the rest of it to be chrome. Metal of one and roughness of like 0.1, so it's super shiny. Okay, let's see if I can make that hole. I delete that vertice. Vertex, I mean, sorry. Yeah, bring it in. These two scale on the X. All right, pretty circular, pretty circular. 
extrude along the Y just a little. And then again on the Y a little more. And then again a little more. Let's see if that fits. Pretty good. Control R for an edge loop. And then I'm gonna scroll my wheel up a bit until I get let's do that. That looks pretty good. We don't need it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now if I bevel these loops, if I let go and then I can just select the number of edges here, then I took all of these center ones and scaled them in with proportional editing. So that's way too small, but I, if I keep scrolling, see how it's, it's kind of making it more gradual. So I'm gonna go like maybe less. It's really subtle. You can barely even notice it. Now, if I go back to render view, that might be too much. You can kind of see them. It's not super noticeable, but it's one of those details that is synonymous with mini golf clubs, maybe. Cool. So we did the shaft, we did the head of the golf club. So if you didn't know, a golf ball is one inch, no, 1.6 inches. 1.67, I think it is. 1.68 inches, yeah. So I need this to be a little bit bigger. Boom. So that's the size of a golf ball. And then that's the club, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So this is where the camera is gonna be mostly like this. <clears throat> I'm turning on, save. It's mainly where the camera is gonna be looking at. All right, I think we might be done for today. I think maybe what I wanna do is put this next to Roland just to see. Because I think, because each, each golf ball is gonna have its own club color. Because you know, like when you go mini golf, you pick your club and they're all like this, three different colors is like, well, there's like the black one, blue. So each one, and there's different, there's all different colors. So.